leaders. If we want to get to this level of khilafah, we need to train ourselves with education so that we develop wisdom. We need to train ourselves with restraint so that we develop generosity. We need to train ourselves with patience so that we develop bravery, courage, forbearance, and contentment. And we need to train ourselves uh, to have an eye for justice so that we develop ihsan and excellence towards everything. And the Raghav al-Sahani wants to stress at this point that there is no possible way that you're going to become a khalifa, that you're going to be eligible for this type of work unless you go through this process of self-reform. That there's no possible way to do it, to be a leader without purifying the self. He compares it to, well, first he draws on the Quran, right? What is one of the first things that Allah says? Uh, right? Uh, he says to the Prophet he says that you have to uh, purify yourself. And there's various interpretations among the Mufassirin about what exactly that means. But there is this, this aspect of self-purification before you can take the message or the duty out towards others. Um, because at the end of the day, it's as if, if you have a pure vessel, it's going to affect the contents of your vessel. And if your vessel is contaminated, it's going co to contaminate the contents of that vessel, right? If you have a glass and the glass is, <laughs> you haven't washed it in a long time, it's got streaks and stains and bits of food and things like that on the inside, then you put water into it. Okay, what's going to happen to the water? It's going to get contaminated by whatever is in the glass, right? So that's you. You're the glass. Your heart, your soul is the glass. Don't think that you're going to assume this leadership role. A lot of us make this mistake, especially in the Muslim community when it comes to activism. We want to get into this activist role. We want to start rubbing elbows with the, you know, the, the legislators and the community leaders and the people out on the street doing this work, doing that work, doing this work. And we haven't purified ourselves. We haven't cleaned our glass. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think that you're really going to be able to lead and serve the people if you haven't purified yourself? I'm a history guy. Read the history of social movements in the United States of America. Anybody who got big or started doing really good work, what was their downfall? Nine times out of 10, it was lack of discipline. If you can be bought, if you can be bribed, if you can be tempted, then you are useless. You're useless to the ummah. You're useless to the world. You're not ready for, for khilafah. You're not ready to take on this role. You're not ready to be an activist out in the streets because it's going to come. It's going to come. People who don't want your mission to succeed or people who want to undermine you, they're going to tempt you. They're going to try to bribe you. They're going to try to buy you. So do yourself a favor. Before you put yourself into the ring, before you throw your hat in the ring or get into the arena, purify yourself. Purify yourself so that you can withstand that sort of pressure, that sort of temptation or not. Because if you get into it too early and then somebody ends up messing with you because you haven't done the work, you haven't disciplined yourself, then it's going to look like, oh, that's the Muslims, this is Islam, and you're going to set us back even further. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim.